Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today for you I have another 12 days of beauty video. If you don't know, I am doing 12 videos leading up to Christmas, like the 12 days of Christmas. And I have some, you know, normal looks, some casual videos, as well as some really amazing holiday looks planned. So stay tuned, hit your notification bell if you're interested in that. And today I have my everyday glam makeup routine for you guys. Super quick and easy, like no skill needed, like you guys know I like easy and I'm not the most creative or like avant-garde. So I just really like this like sparkly, like no hassle, um, some, like brown winged liner look with a nude lip. I think it's perfect. I've been wearing this anytime that I go out and I've been feeling like I want to wear some makeup because I do love makeup and it's fun. Kind of gotten into, an, into a habit where I only do my makeup when I film and I was like, well, that's not fun. So I've created this everyday makeup routine and finally I think I've got the routine like on lock and I'm super excited to show you guys. So if you are interested, then just keep watching. All right, first thing I'm going to start off with is my Rare Beauty Primer. This is my favorite primer, especially as it gets colder and colder because my skin is seriously lacking hydration. So I make sure I moisturize and put my sunscreen on first and then let that dry down just a little bit and then you can go in with your primer and I just love the finish that this gives it's so glowy and I can feel like I think it actually does make my makeup stay a little better um also if there's noise I'm sorry my neighbor is watering their um backyard and like I live in an apartment so we share that wall and we share that hose so it's noisy and it's like squeaky so sorry so yeah I start with my primer after my skincare and everything and I'll go in with my foundation which is the makeup forever reboot foundation this is just my go-to as of lately um quite a few, like since I've gotten it it's pretty much been my go-to I really like it I feel like it's perfect for like an everyday use it's not super heavy but it does give me the coverage that I want and it feels like nothing which is kind of important for me I love makeup and I love full coverage, light coverage, everything, but I do not really like feeling foundation on my skin. Just kind of like a pet peeve. I'm going to get a mirror. It's just kind of like a pet peeve of mine and I just kind of feel gross. Um, oh, I keep saying um. So this foundation is really nice and lightweight on the feel of it. I really like the Rare Beauty foundation for that as well. I just like foundation that doesn't feel like foundation, but like gives the look. I know that's kind of a lot to ask for. Let me take my hair back here. So I just apply a little extra in my cheek area. That's usually where I'm the most red. Sometimes I'll do my concealer first, but it doesn't really matter. All right, next going in with my Becca under eye corrector. I just take a little bit of this on my finger in the very point of my eye and then right under the like where I put eyeshadow and I feel like this really just makes my concealer not have to do a bunch of work because I have pretty dry under eyes so if I let my concealer do all the work I end up having to put a lot on and it doesn't end up looking great it looks like a little dry and crepey so this is like a really emollient product so I really like that follow up I'm going to go in with my MAC Pro Lawnwear this has just been my go-to lately um, it just has really nice coverage. You don't need to use a lot. I kind of just put it wherever I think I need it. So I could have a little couple of, like spots right there. And that's really about it. And then I'll take my sponge and then just blend it out. And I'll put this on my eyelids as well, whatever's left over. This is a very liquidy formula. So it goes pretty far. Um, I remember when I used to use this in high school, I would put so much on and now like one pump I could pretty much do my whole face with like sometimes for my like no makeup makeup routine instead of like a lighter coverage I'll go in with this if I'm having like kind of like a bad skin day and I can do one pump and then just like spot conceal and like really sheer it out and it's still like a really amazing coverage and in high school I remember I used to like pumps of it which is like so scary to think about <laughs> The last cream product we're going to do is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. This is kind of like my prep for highlight. I'm going to add something else later, but yeah. As always, I have a mirror like right here, so that's why I'm looking that way. I'm sorry if that's annoying. Eventually, I will do a better setup, but this is just the best we can do right now. So hopefully you guys don't mind. Oops. 
just blending that highlight out this such this product is such an easy product to use like it blends out like nothing and it gives you like the perfect glow doesn't look too highlighty if you're not into that it's perfect next I'm going to go in with powder and I'm going to be using the ambient lighting powder in the shade ethereal and I just kind of take that on a big fluffy brush spin it around dot it off and then I just use this for my whole entire face I don't like to be super powdered powdered <laughs> but I like to just um, have like a smooth base for powder products and for my everyday makeup routine lately I've been going with with powder just because it's a little bit quicker and like I can build up a little quicker and I want my everyday makeup routine to be kind of simple so that's just what I do <clears throat> Alright, for contour, I'm going to be using the Kevin O'Quan Contour Duo. This is the mini size, and I'm going to be using the contour shade. I have this Morphe M438 brush. I really like this for contour. It's just, like, really, like, defined. i pop this off because this is pretty pigmented, and I'm going to do my contour how I usually do, and I do it pretty high up. If you guys want to see my contour routine, like, video, I will link it up here. And I'm just going to do my nose a little bit under my lip and then the jaw. All right, and that is it for my contour. And for blush, I like to go in with my little Tarte palette. This is not available. It's an old holiday one. Um, but I'm usually going to just use the shade Doll Face right here. It's just like a pretty light pink, like a cool toned color. And... For everyday makeup, I like to kind of load it up on the blush because I feel like that's really cute. So I'll do my little blushy area, like my cheeks, and then hit the temples with it as well, and then I'll do my nose. I think the nose is just cute. And then whatever's left, I'll just kind of bring on the like perimeter of my face just so everything blends. Alright, before we do highlight, I'm going to switch over to eyes. So I do not prime my eyes when I do this. I usually just use the concealer. And I'm only going to be using one thing, and this is from the Robbie D. Christie X Colourpop collection. And it is the Super Shock Shadow in Mycelium. Or Mycelium, I think it's Mycelium. Um, it's just this gorgeous, like, gold, champagne-y, like, glittery shade. And if you're not familiar with the Super Shot shades, they're kind of like a gel, like, putty formula almost. They feel, like, really slick when you touch them, and you can kind of, like, make imprints in them. So I'm going to take this just with my finger, and let me get a mirror. Let me use a different finger. I'm just taking this on my finger, and I just pat it all over the lid and up into the crease, like basically all over the eye. And it gives like the prettiest like wet eyelid look. And it's also like super sparkly and beautiful and I love it. So I just keep going with it until I'm like satisfied. I pretty much do it all the way up to my eyebrow, maybe leaving like a tiny amount of space. And I made sure I really pack it on like in this inner portion of my eye because I think like that opens up the eye really nicely. And I kind of just go back and forth with my finger to make sure there's no like chunks just because this is like more of a creamy formula. And yeah, that's all I do with my eyes um, for eyeshadow. And then let me see where else. All right, and then to finish off the eyes, I go in with my Anastasia Sultry palette, and I'm just going to be using the dark brown called Dystopian in here. It's just a really dark chocolatey brown. I take it on, take it on my little essence brush, and I'm just going to do a little winged liner with eyeshadow. So. Alright, and per usual, they don't match, but that's it. I like to do it with eyeshadow because I'm not the best 
at winged eyeliner anymore with liquid liner so I like to just do the brown I think it adds a really nice little flare to the little natural sparkle we have so I'm gonna go ahead and apply my mascara I'm just gonna do my usual milk mascara and I'm gonna do my brows and I'll be right back all right so I went ahead and applied my mascara um, you could do lashes with this as well sometimes I do but usually if it's like my everyday look and I'm just going somewhere simple or something I'll just do the mascara and I'll really just build it up for my brows I did the essence make me brow and a little bit of my NYX brow pencil just to fill in some spots and I'm just going to top it off with a nude lip gloss I've really been liking the Robbie D. Christie Colourpop one, but that one's in my purse. So I'm just going to use this one. It's Baby Brute by Rihanna or by Fenty. Alright, and that is it for my everyday makeup routine. It's really just nice and like glam. You have some sparkle, some contour, like you're looking... Definitely I gave a full face of makeup on, but a really simple routine. I didn't even have to use a brush except for my eyeliner brush for my eyes. And it's a really nice routine that I like to use when I want to look done up, but I don't want to spend a lot of time on my makeup. So yeah, I'm really happy I found this kind of routine for the longest. I've been one of those people who is like, Ugh, how does everyone have a makeup routine? Like, I don't have one because I guess when I'm filming videos, I'm just always doing different makeup. But lately, I have been wanting to, like, put on real clothes when I go places. And, like, you know, after this whole year and stuff, I've been in my pajama pants a lot. So lately, I've been wanting to kind of step it up, especially when I go places, the few places that I do go. So I think this is a really good makeup look for that. And yeah, if you don't have the Robert e. Christie collection from ColourPop, any other super shot shadows should do this or any kind of like eye topper, like the hourglass scattered light ones would probably be good for this. Any kind of like kind of creamy, even if it's a powder like that you can just spread and that's like shimmery and gives like a wet glossed lid I really like it so yeah really simple so yeah this is a really simple look nothing too fancy or anything but I wanted to show it to you guys because I've been really enjoying it and I think it's really stunning so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed and if you did please like and subscribe and yeah turn on your notification bell because I am doing my 12 days of beauty right or my 12 days of Christmas no 12 days of beauty is what I'm doing. Gosh, Madison, learn your content. Um, so I don't know what order this video went up for, but I will have 12 videos consecutively following until Christmas. So I hope you guys enjoy. I have a lot of fun Christmas looks coming up or before this video, so make sure you stay tuned, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.